Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about jumping in Pygame. Now I've already made a video about jumping in Pygame, but I was watching it back a few days ago and I realized how absolutely terrible it was and so I decided to make a new one to hopefully explain this a little bit better. Now let me just talk about what I have here very briefly. So first of all I've coded a window, then I've coded a class player, this is going to take in an x and a y parameters which are going to be the coordinates of my player. Then I have a draw method, which is just going to draw the player onto those coordinates. And then I have a move method, which is going to take in a keys dictionary. This is a dictionary of all of the keys of my keyboard that are being pressed at a given moment. So I'm checking if I'm pressing the jump, then I'm gonna code, sorry, if I'm pressing the space, then I'm gonna code the jump. If I'm pressing the arrow keys, then I'm gonna have basic movement, so right, left, up and down. And then I've created a player which has default coordinates of 200 for both the X and the Y. And inside of my main loop, I'm basically calling these methods. So the move first with the keys dictionary and then the draw method. Okay, now let's actually code our jump. So first of all, I need a few variables. I'm going to say self.jump equals false. So by default, we're not going to be jumping. Then self.jump height, this is going to be 40. Then we have a self dot velocity, and in the beginning, this is going to be self dot jump height, and we're actually going to change this by the self dot gravity, which is going to be five, like that. So now let's actually code the logic. So if we're pressing the space here in my move method, I'm going to say self dot jump equals true, like that. And in a separate if statement, I'm going to check if self dot jump. So if we're jumping. Then I'm going to take the y coordinate of my player and I'm going to decrease it by the self.vel, right? Because since I'm jumping, I'm going up and my y is decreasing. And then I'm going to say self.vel minus equals the self.gravity, like that. So why am I doing this step right here? So I'm going to open my whiteboard here to actually explain this a little bit better. Let me get my pen. And imagine that this is the ground, if I can actually write. So this is the ground and our jump is going to be kind of a parabola, right? So our velocity in the beginning is going to be jump height and then it's going to decrease as we're going up. When we reach the maximum height, it's going to be zero and then it's going to increase as we're going down, right? So as we're going down, the absolute value is going to increase, but the actual value is actually going to decrease, right? Because we're subtracting the gravity from it until we reach minus jump height. And when we reach minus jump height, then we've reached the ground again. So we're going to stop jumping, right? So let's actually code this out. So if self.vel is smaller than minus self.jump height like that, then self.jump is equal to false. So we're no longer jumping. And since we've altered our velocity, we also need to reset it to jump height like that. And this is all we need for our jump. So let me actually run this. And I have here my players, just a blue square. He can move up left, uh, down and right. And then if I press the space, it does a little jump like that. And I'm actually gonna close this. I'm gonna go here to my jump height. And if I alter this to be a smaller value and I run this again, now the jump is gonna be a little bit smaller as you can see. Okay, so that is all I had to show you today. If this video was helpful and valuable to you, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.